Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Aisha, AKA Unapologetically Aisha. For those of you who don't know me, thanks so much for coming and checking out my video today. For those who do, thanks so much for the support. Today, as you can see by the title, I'm doing the chit chat, get ready with me. Um, I'm not really going anywhere. I'm doing my makeup because I need to get better at it. So, it's been a minute since I vlogged, so there has been a lot going on. So, I've already primed my face. So, I washed it off very good, and then I primed it with coconut oil. I mean, let me know if I can't. Let me know if I'm not supposed to prime it with coconut oil. But, you know, I've been doing that for a long time. So, all these products are from Ipsy, actually. So I'm trying them out. I usually use this, so I'm probably just gonna go in with the Fit Me in the color. Oh, coconut. I already have a damp beauty blender. Actually, I'm probably gonna do my brows first. That's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna use the Salon Perfect Done in One Brow. Oh, sorry. The Salon Perfect Done in One Brow Pomade in Dark Brown also from ipsy with my little spoolie you know let's get into our chit chat okay so i am 33 weeks today it's been rough i found out that i have gestational diabetes i mean i was just i just knew that i was going to pass that glucose test i just knew it they're saying that I have a lot of sugar in my diet and I just assumed that it was fruit because that's all this baby like I was gorging on uh, like watermelon and grapes and apple just fruit period like I love fruit but I wasn't I'm assuming I wasn't getting enough anything else protein hold on I need to concentrate Jesus really for those of you who don't know or you know don't have any family members with diabetes and have never seen this it looks like this so this is the monitor this is what I prick myself with and these are the strips that I put the blood on to put into the monitor the pricks don't really hurt um, they were saying a regular pregnant woman blood sugar after they eat two hours after they eat should be under 120 and mine was like 140 basically if my organs are not strong enough to fight off the sugar the placenta is not smart enough to not let the sugar come into you know get past the baby so a lot of the times you have big babies or yeah just big baby like I was disappointed because I just felt like you know, I wasn't being oblivious to my diet. Like, I, I mean, I wasn't on a diet, but I wasn't eating things that I felt like would cause me to go through this. But in reality, your body goes through a lot during pregnancy. And I just had to realize that. Like, the hardest thing about the new diet is remembering to eat. You poke yourself when you wake up. Then you have to eat breakfast, like within an hour after the fasting results. Then, two hours after breakfast, you have to poke yourself and figure it out. You gotta be below 120. Then, you eat a snack, dinner, I mean lunch, two hours later, poke yourself. Dinner, snack, dinner, two hours later, poke yourself. It was so much when I tell you, I was like, Hassan, I'm not going to be able to do this. Like, he's been so supportive. Like, been like, Aisha, you can't drink fruit juice. Like, come on, let's get the water. Sometimes, you know, you want a little juice. You want a little pop. He like, no, you can get some life water. Though. I'm like, I don't really eat that much. I have never really ate that much. I know y'all probably like, girl, you eating something. But I... <laughs> I really do not like I don't be like having snacks and meals I just eat like sometimes I skip breakfast then I have like a little snack and then I'll have a medium sized lunch and then I'll just like eat at dinner that was before pregnancy but during pregnancy 
I used to just snack all day and majority of it was like fruit before, you know, I got diagnosed with gestational diabetes or whatever. So hold on girl. Cause how do you even do? I don't normally use pomade. I use like a eyebrow pencil. I feel like that's easier for me, but we're going to try this. I really had to find alternates because I'm super picky. So I had to find things that were healthy for me and the baby, which was another really hard thing to do. So, you know, it took me a minute. I was told that I say 30 weeks. So they gave me a whole week to try to see how, you know, I would do and how my diet would change, how I would change my diet on my own. And it ended up being like really rocky. I talked to the diabetes specialist there and he told me that I needed a little help. So he put me on insulin, two milliliters of insulin, which is like just a small dose of insulin. So basically what the insulin does is assist with breaking down the sugar in my blood. So I can protect the baby. That's as simple as the, I can get it because when he started explaining it to me, I was just like, doctor, okay. I'm gonna just take the insulin when you tell me to. It was a long day Monday. At my ultrasound, they were saying the baby was all right. I mean, you know, the baby was okay. Breathing was okay. But they were saying he was two weeks over his weight that he was supposed to be. So initially he's supposed to be four pounds and he's six pounds already. So at first she was like, I don't know, maybe it's because you have the incorrect due date or it may be because you just have a big baby. And my doctor already mentioned to me by 36 weeks, if my baby is big, then she wants to do a C-section. I don't want to do it. But she did, the ultrasound tech did say that I had a breech baby. But it's only 33 weeks and I, you know, talk to a lot of moms who say their baby turn before their due date. So we're just hoping that the baby turns. I'm trying to do some like yogas. If you guys have any suggestions or moms have any suggestions on how to naturally turn your baby, comment down below if you guys have any insight on how to do that. And, you know, just give me some advice because I'm kind of a little discouraged. It's just a lot happening back to back and... I just want the baby as healthy as possible, but I also do want to stick to my birth plan. I felt how it felt to, you know, like to recover with the C-section. It was horrible. It was just so many obstacles in my way when I was trying to take care of my baby with a C-section um, wound. It was just really, really hard on my body. So... You know, I, I want to at least try. I feel like my body can do it. And of course, I'm not going to put my baby in harm's way. If, I, you know, if things keep coming back, you know, stating that I would have to have a C-section, okay, then I'll agree to it. Um, this is really not even a eyebrow blender, but it's going to be today. It's um, Luxie 207 Medium Angle Shading. It's for shading, but... It's going to shade this concealer today, okay? <laughs> Woo! A mom's finding out that I had gestational diabetes, you know, uh, and just trying to prepare for the baby and also the baby shower that's coming in September, which I will be vlogging. Um, something happened to Hassan. Now, let me tell y'all, Hassan never gets sick. I'm always the one in the hospital laid up help he never gets sick period and i just feel like do i got some stuff in there y'all this is why you clean your brushes what either friday or saturday he started to get like really sharp pains in his stomach say that he was tossing and turning in the bed i knew like something was wrong and as the day progressed like he was saying he couldn't stand up like he was throwing up like he couldn't keep down water so um i was assuming that he was um 
just dehydrated and needed to go get some fluids. So I was like, you're going to go to the hospital. And Hassan, it's so hard to convince Hassan to go to the hospital because he hates, he absolutely hates hospitals. So I got him to get up and go. I was working from home that day, so I couldn't go with him. So I just said, you know, go. If anything's wrong, I will clock out, period. I'm I'm deciding to use the coconut thing in the HD fit me in coconut. Um so he was like, Yeah, I was super dehydrated to the point where like they couldn't like I was just really, really dehydrated. So they're put you know, they're I'm on IV, like I'm still in bad pain. You know, they're gonna give me some meds, some pain meds, so they can run a, a CAT scan on my on my stomach or whatever. His mom and I were playing tag team, like calling him and things like that. And I guess his mom got the information first that he had appendicitis. Oh. I'm not really familiar with appendicitis. I just know that when you have it, your appendix needs to be removed and I heard that it's excruciating, so. They were saying that they were about to have emergency surgery. And I'm like, oh my God, like I'm not prepared. Like I'm, I've got a clock out, got to get trendy. He rolling around on the floor <laughs> in just some underwear. We both looking a mess, my hair all over my head. Trenton looking like a baby's kid, okay? I made like six laps around the house, not even consciously knowing that I was walking around in the circle because my brain was going so fast. like. When I say Hassan never is in the hospital, I was panicking. And the crazy part about it is, like, two days before he got into the hospital, I was like, ain't it crazy how you never be the one going to the hospital? It's always me. He like, yeah, you know, that cornly blood. I'm just like, whatever. And then he got admitted. I, I clocked out of work. I was like, this job is not that important. I mean, it is important, but my dude... <laughs> My boo-boo is in the hospital. By the time I got there, his family was there. So I was really thankful for that, that he didn't have to sit alone, sit alone in the hospital until, you know, I got there. They, he, they were thankful for when he came into the hospital because if he would have waited any longer, it probably would have ruptured and it would have been way worse. So they were like, okay, you know, it's not that bad, but it does need to be removed. We're going to remove it the next day. They were trying to tell me that I couldn't have Trent up in there because he was under 18. I said, well, I'm his legal guardian. So, and it's storming outside. We're not going to leave, period. And I didn't leave. They woke him up super, super early. And his mom came back up there. My body was on fire, okay? Period, like that. It wasn't even a couch. It was a chair that pulled out into like, a bed of some kind but the cushions were rock like the cushion hurt so bad it wasn't even cushion that shouldn't have called that cushion it was I don't know I felt like I was in prison they removed his appendix everything went well I was so relieved and um he came back upstairs we were able to talk to him he had an allergic reaction to the anesthesia like they plop, popped blood, blood vessels in his eye so he had like red eyes and then all around his eyes was like super red it was just I was just like <sighs> but he ended up going home that day he still recovering to this day of course he was in like excruciating pain after he got home the next day so I was helping him on hand and feet like I was being a good girlfriend. I was being a good girlfriend. I'm proud of myself. But he's doing better today. I just thank God for his son and I thank God for giving me the insight what I needed to to help him and things like that. I appreciate his family. I love his family. My mom was super worried. Like a lot of people love his son. So that happened on top of me receiving that news. I'm gonna bake for a bit. I'm gonna do a, like a fall look. This is actually not from Ipsy, but I got the Meat Matte palette a long time ago. I'm not even sure where I got this. I, I'm, I'm thinking Walgreens, but I'm not really sure. Maybe Amazon. So I'm going to use the first Meat Evans as the base.
So that is an update on my pregnancy. You know, I wish it wasn't so negative. But I am, however, excited about my baby shower. It's September 14th. My friend Shariah is helping me plan it. So, you know, I can take some pressure off of me. Um, I will be vlogging. You guys will get to... And that's the day that I will reveal his first name at least. I can say we are trying to get the really expensive things out the way um, first. So we won't be overwhelmed. And then I've been loading up on diapers and wipes. You can never have too many diapers and wipes. Um, I'm just... I set my... Actually, I didn't even tell you guys. It's uh, Banana Dreams. It's a loose powder that I got from Amazon. I don't really like to bake too long because I always look like a clown if I do. Next, I'm going to use this color, Matt Masowski. I think that's what it says. Masowitz. Masowitz. Anyways, I'm trying to do a little fall look. I'm just gonna rub this all on my eyelid. I don't do the dimensions. You know, girls, we dimension. No. I don't know I'm not about no dimension. This as far as I'm going to go. I'm not trying to do anything more than that. From the bomb. It's called Ken Cabana Boy. I've been using this for the longest. This is also from Ipsy. I'll use this. Brush. If you won't leave we should be close. This is actually from Ipsy. My last video. If you guys haven't seen my last video, go check it out. But I got this one, the Wet n Wild Mega Highlighter, Mega Glow Highlighter Powder. Um, in the color Crown of My Canopy. 322B Fire. Such a fire color. So I'm just going to use my Lisa Frank brush that I also got from Itchy. So cute. Mm -hmm. And go ahead and put some highlighter on. You can't have a look without highlighter, ladies. Period. This is like my favorite part of putting on makeup. If I have a C-section, I can't vlog the birth, which is going to be pretty sad. They're not going to let me. But if I have him vaginally, then I might get to it vlog at least soon. So, uh, that's another reason why. is the e.l.f. finishing spray Ooh, girl. it don't really look like I got makeup <laughs> cuz I don't like to do too much but this is the finished look this problem like you put on makeup and it just doesn't even look like you have makeup on some say it's a good thing but uh i really try diabetes is something that's temporary so it will go away after pregnancy and even though it, you know i might have some discouraging days and you know some negative days i also have positive days go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my page if you haven't already um, also, go ahead and click the bell just to get, you know, notifications every time I post if you want, you know, if you want to support your girl. And thanks so much for listening today and I will see you in the next vlog.